All right, um, let's do part two real quick. This is decimal edition part two, and it is section 2.5. And it's basically the same thing as we were doing before with one slight change. Um, they call this decimal edition using front end estimation, which means we just have an additional step. So our first step is going to be to line up numbers like before and then we're really only going to be focusing on on the whole numbers and the tenths and the tenths oops sorry because it really gives us like a estimation or a, a kind of a gist for a number. I can see using this a lot in money or comparing a bunch of things quickly and easily. So say for example I wanted to compare and add these two numbers. Um, 6.819 and 4.621. And I don't want to have to add all of the decimal points. What I'm going to do is I'm going to first line up my little numbers. 6.819 and 4.621, remembering again that my decimal points are in line. <clears throat> and I'm really going to add my digits in the tenths. So I have 8 and 6, which gives me 14, which gives me kind of like a 1.4 would give me 14 and then a 6 and a 4 give me 10. Then I can add these two up and I can do 10 plus 1.4 if I wanted to write that out it would look like this because remember 10 has a implied decimal in there so I could write it as 4 11.4 and my little front end estimation like this would give me 11.4 because remember I did not really I just kind of ignored those two numbers and I pretended like they weren't even there so let's uh, take a couple more looks at these and then I'll send you on your way because I do not think this is particularly difficult it's just one more step kind of from what we were doing before but if it seems confusing to you still then watch a couple more examples let's do another one we'll, we'll call the one that we just looked at example one and this next one, example two. So uh, say I want to add, this time I'm adding four numbers. I'm going to be adding 5.431, 3, 4.1, 3, and 3.98. Now again, notice where I put my decimal points and how I lined everything up. It is all in the line. Even though my numbers have different lengths. See, this one has four places after the decimal, and this one only has two. Doesn't matter. Above all, the decimal lining up is what's key here. Okay, so then, remember, I'm going to kind of ignore all those extra numbers, and I'm just going to look at the tenths. So 4 plus 7 plus 1 plus 9. Okay, 9 and 1 is 10. 7 and 4 is 13, 10 and 13 is 23, but since I'm adding up my tenths, I really have 2.3 over here. I'm going to add up my whole numbers, 5, 3, 4, and 3, uh, 7, and 8, which is 15. So now I have 15 plus 2.3. Remember I have my little implied decimal point so that I can make sure that I line them up correctly. And I have 3, I have 17.3, would give me an estimate for all of this. If I were to do all of these, it would be a little bit longer, and I would have way more decimals. But 17.3 is way easier for me to hold in my head and compare with other things if I need to. Okay, I'll do one more. I'll call this one example 3. We're going to add 
3.5137 and 2.34. Notice again, I'm going to keep saying this until you get sick of me, you probably already are. The decimal point here is lined up. And I'm going to add these up. So again, I'm going to look, I'm going to ignore all those numbers except for my tenths. Five and eight is, or five, five and three is eight. That's going to give me 0.8, and 3 and 2 is 5, so I can add 5 plus 0.8. If I was going to line this up, it would look like this. 5 plus 0.8, remember because a 5 has a 0 0.0 all lined up in there. So I can really say that's 5.8, which gives me my answer. Okay? Try it. If you're confused, come find me or another adult and we'll help you out. Thanks.